Okay, let's talk a little bit about the tools that we're gonna we're gonna use um, in development. First thing we're gonna talk about is IDEs. ID is basically integrated development environment. Um, now, what's an integrated development environment? Uh, you've got basically software um, that integrates all the development and it allows you to um, you know write your script and run it and and uh, you know do all these things in one. You can opt out the integrated development environment and just use any text editor. Uh, of course you don't use Word, you would use maybe TextPad or something like that and pretty much that's all you need to really to do PHP because um, you don't need to compile it or anything like that. It's a script and it just runs on the web server. But here what I'm going to do I'm not going to use a text editor, I'm going to use NetBeans. Why am I going to use NetBeans? Now, if you want to get a, a, a web development job, uh, you would find that, uh, you know, commonly they use NetBeans or Eclipse or, uh, you know, other sort of, you know, applications very similar to NetBeans and Eclipse as uh, IDE. Um, so, you'll find learning NetBeans now uh, could actually help you and pay off when you start learning uh, Java uh, at university as well. They they use NetBeans or Eclipse, so uh, you'll find you know being familiar with NetBeans will actually pay off in in the long term as well. And also, it's very good. You know, NetBeans is very good. Um, I heard that it's not so good on Linux platform. However, they they are making improvements and updates on that. So. The other thing that we're going to need, and I kind of mentioned it previously, is WAMP, which is for me because I'm using Windows. It's Windows, Apache, MySQL, which is the database, and PHP, which is the interpreter that interprets um, the PHP script. Uh, I'm I'm going to predominantly be using Firefox, and also as a little bonus for you as well, uh, I'm going to cover in these videos a bit of Selenium. Selenium is basically an automated web test uh, testing tool so you can actually um, record tests and it can start um, you know testing the user interface uh, to see if the, the website is not broken and you know people can lo you know test uh, generic users maybe trying to log in log out uh, different things and as you start developing new features to your website or web application you can start running um, regression testing so you're testing you know the, the previous features to see if that new feature has actually compromised anything else in the application so it's very powerful and it's in it's in high demand as well in industry if you're wanting to get into a career of like web testing or software testers that kind of stuff so I think the first thing we need to do is to download um, WAMP if you're on Windows, if you're on Linux then it will be LAMP and if you are and if you are on a Mac it will be basically MAMP. So to do that we'll go back to the browser again.